these characters hopped on the bandwagon to the dark side. You killed innocent people, Tony! Ten times as many people would have died if it hadn't been for me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 good guys gone bad in TV. I want to torture you. Like I used to love it, and it's been a long time. For this list, we're focusing on those characters who are introduced as generally likable and respectable, but who, through some unfortunate turn of events or another, goes way, way evil. That's better. If they happen to eventually go back to good, they're allowed on the list too. And it should be obvious, but there are some major spoilers ahead, so spoiler alert. Lieutenant Allison, carry out the execution. Number 10, Deborah Morgan, Dexter. Bay Harbor Butcher, give me one shot, I put a bullet in the head. For the majority of the show's run, the cop sister of serial killer protagonist Dexter remained clueless to his murdering antics until she caught him in the act. Maybe everything is exactly as it should be. <sighs> Though it takes some time, Deborah comes to grips with and even supports her brother's predilection for murder and tries to see the world from his view. There has to be some fucking justice. Until it comes to that season's finale, when her own world is shattered. Do what you gotta do. Turns out both Morgan siblings are bound to spill blood. Number nine, Brenda Walsh, Beverly Hills 90210. First impressions are incredibly important. Honey, you can make a wonderful first impression. Moving to Beverly Hills from Minnesota would be a culture shock for anyone. That's why Brenda starts out the series as your typical sweet, socially naive newcomer. But popularity and power slowly go to her head. To be a bitch or not to be a bitch, that is the question. I wouldn't say you've been a bitch. She soon becomes more rebellious with her relationships, starts disobeying her parents, and begins hanging out with activists who trash animal labs. FBI, hey, get your hands up. What's going on? You have the right to remain silent. You have to give up that right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be against you in a court of law. This good girl gone bad was definitely one of the most chaotic students on campus and off. But that's just life in the hills. Honesty? Is that what you think this is about, Dylan? I don't think so. Look, I hate you both. Never talk to me again. Hi, what, what can I get for you tonight? Do you have any of that synthetic bottled blood? Number eight, Bill Compton, True Blood. Bill is just your run-of-the-mill vampire. He's polite, well-mannered, and has so many skeletons in his closet, it could break the door down. If you calm down, I will teach you what being a vampire means. I'm not stupid. I can read. I know what it means. Very well, then. Why don't you tell me? <sighs> Originally, he reveled in the killing sprees and blood-fueled orgies of his vampirism. But he tried to veer his life in a kinder direction so he could fit in with society. With your new powers come new responsibilities. Oh. You are going to mainstream like I do. You can live almost exactly the same life as you did before, except you'll be awake at night. However, all those niceties went out the door when he became the new vampire king of Louisiana. And boy, oh boy, did the bodies start piling up then. Fire! <laughs> Number seven, Willow Rosenberg, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I, I don't actually date a whole lot lately. Why not? Well, when I'm with a boy I like, it's hard for me to say anything cool or, or witty or at all. Angel is another of Buffy's buddies we considered for this list, but the spot goes to the redhead. Semi-official sidekick to the Vampire Slayer, Willow is a character we can really get behind, transforming from a shy computer geek to a confident badass witch. You have to remember you're still Willow. Let me tell you something about Willow. She's a loser. And she always has been. Unfortunately, magic is addictive, and after her girlfriend is murdered, she goes completely off the rails. Then snap, crackle, pop, out comes Dark Willow. And by the way, she will promptly flee you alive if ever you cross her. I know you're in pain, but... Bored now. Oh my God. Number six, Felix Gaeta, 
Battlestar Galactica. I started this, and I'll see it through. Now get on that fracking ship. An upstanding and highly intellectual officer of the Colonial Army, Lieutenant Gaeta went through quite the dangerous journey courtesy of the Cylons. Right, Felix. You're a fracking hero. He's been the president's chief of staff, a resistance spy, lost his leg thanks to his own allies, and finally takes the helm himself in a full-on coup d'etat for control of the Galactica. Admiral Adama, I am removing you from command of this ship. I am taking you into custody on the charge of treason. You swore an oath when you put that uniform on. He may have had good intentions in his heart, but his actions inadvertently lead to the execution of the fleet's government. I hope that people realize eventually who I am. That's pretty hard to forgive, as he learns firsthand. It stopped. Fire! You gave me away! Your boy! Your last boy! Number 5. Theon Greyjoy, Game of Thrones. Growing up with daddy issues can certainly lead a character to make some dumb decisions. You'd have our father bow down to your other family. I have no other family. Don't you? But backstabbing the very family that raised you like one of their own has to be one of the dumbest. Case in point, Theon grew up as a ward of the Stark family. But pressured by his vengeful father and his own ego makes him abandon them for glory. While we can't exactly blame him for the Red Wedding, his support would have been appreciated. Any last words, old man? God help you, Theon Greyjoy. Now you are truly lost. But then again, karma's a bitch, eh, Theon? Do you, Max, have a phantom cock? Next time you think about naked girls, when you feel an itch. Number four, Lex Luthor, Smallville. Every villain is only as great as his hero. Wait, there was a time when Lex Luthor was good? Lex? What's going on? Well, at the very least, he was morally ambiguous. And he was all buddy-buddy with Clark Kent. Thanks to you, I have a second chance. We have a future, Clark. And I don't want anything to stand in the way of our friendship. But this incarnation of Superman's greatest enemy became fascinated with Clark. And the secret Lex was convinced he was protecting viciously. Add to that obsession a little dash of patricide, and you have the recipe for a future criminal mastermind. Still rocking that bald look, though, Lexi. I've been bald since I was nine. I'm used to people judging me before they get to know me. Number three, Tony Almeida, 24. Why did you ever call me? For what? I've been there. I could help. Many things can make a good guy turn to the dark side, but it often involves revenge. That's the case for this former CTU agent, who started declining after being arrested for treason when he let a terrorist escape to save the woman he loves. I don't know exactly what they're doing to her, Tony, but I did instruct them to leave her barely functional so that we can return her to you. I'll kill you, son of a bitch. Okay, we get that. Unfortunately, when he's unable to save his lady a second time, things really go downhill. One of the men behind this threat is someone you know. He fakes his own death, joins a terrorist cell, kills numerous people, and almost murders his best friend. Again, for revenge. It wasn't just my wife you murdered. She was carrying my son. You're kind of losing us, Tony. <laughs> Number two, Shane Walsh, The Walking Dead. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Are you looking at me? Stay with me, you hear me? Shh, shh, okay. I'm right here with you, stay with me, you hear me? Shh, shh, that's it, you hear me? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. 
Unless, of course, your best friend turns out to be a backstabbing killer who may or may not have knocked up your wife. I'm sorry, Shane, I'm sorry. But even if it's yours, it's not gonna be yours. It's never gonna be yours. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Hey, a zombie apocalypse is no excuse for adultery. Shane would rather gun down the rest of the human race in order to keep what he's gained since before the world went to hell in a handbasket, and that includes plotting to kill his former friend. If you want to kill me, you're gonna have to do better than a ranch. You reap what you sow, Shane. You reap what you sow. It's not what it seems. Please. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ladies and gentlemen, this man that stands before you is a ring operative. He kidnapped me and he drugged me and he tried to kill me. All of that is completely true, except for the killing part. <laughs> Look at you, not even blinking. Not that I blame you, after what this heinous mother did to you. I will fight with you. I will fight with you against my brother. Zach. He's the killer, Booth. Zach. Number one. That's right. Now, say my name. Walter White, Breaking Bad. You're goddamn right. We were tempted to add Weed's Nancy Botwin to this list, but meth trumps pot. Walter White is your average suburbanite, a nerdy chemistry teacher with a pregnant wife, a son with cerebral palsy, and dreams that died long ago. Back when Elliot and I were in grad school, we came up with a name, <clears throat> Schwartz, Black, Walter White, so together they became Grey Matter Technologies. Thank you, Doc. That is, until cancer came knocking, prompting him to delve into chemistry's dark side as a meth cook. You, uh, you wanna cook crystal meth? You. You and, uh, and me. <laughs> That's right. While he may have done it for his family at first, the allure of wealth and becoming the ruler of his own empire was too much to resist. All hail the king. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot and you think that of me? No, I am the one who knocks. Did you enjoy our list? Who's your favorite TV good guy gone bad? What is it you really want? For more of your favorite top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You too. Don't move.